In this video, you are going to learn how to finish a SSL VPN instance. The SSL VPN is an easy to use VPN deployment mode. The function is a network VPN and SSL VPN. Click new here and then there is a wizard came out. The first step is specify the name and choose the authentication server. You could use local server, Windows AD server, LDAP server, or radio server. Do not forget to click add button here. The next step is interface and address pool configuration. First, the access interface. Specify the one interface of your file. And e if you have multiple one interfaces, the maximum number supported is two. And the service port, default value is 4433. And the second interface is tunnel interface. Click new to create a new tunnel interface. Specify the IP address. then click OK. And uh, the next one is address pool configuration. Create a new address pool. As you can see, the requirement of the tunnel interface IP address configuration and address pool configuration is they should be in the same network segment and there shouldn't be any overlapping. So we have set the IP address of the tunnel interface as 20.10.10.1 and the address pool is from 20.10.10.2 to 20.10.99 The last step is the tunnel root configuration Usually you just need to leave it by default and then click down Now we can have a test The IP address is you should use HTTPS and then the public IP address of your uh, Y interface and then the service port we have configured in the wizard. This is the login page of the SSO VPN. You should provide your username and password. And then you can log into the SSO VPN to perform access to your internal network. Thank you for watching. Please visit kb.hillstonenet.com for more details in the document library.